Have you ever had something so valuable to you, so precious, that there is nothing in the world that would make you give it up? One of these examples are heirlooms. They are valuable items that are passed down from generation to generation in your family, and from most people, if they have them, there's nothing that they want to give them up for, unless they do want to sell them and be greedy before that. In Hebrews 11:23, we read of Moses and his parents, and it reads, By faith Moses, when he was born, was hidden three months by his parents, because they saw he was a beautiful child, and they were not afraid of the king's commands. The parents of Moses, they saw how valuable their new baby boy was. They didn't want to compromise their morals and just let a new child be murdered just because the king commanded this. By resisting the king's commands, they were faithful to God and their morals over men and just over a command that the king of Pharaoh of Egypt said. There are some things that we can be passionate about in life. We can be passionate about wanting to pray often, just talking to God. There is nothing extremely special about praying. You cannot pray too much. All it is is just talking to God and asking him for things or thanking him for all the things that he gives us in life. Another thing is we can be faithful to God and we can not give up on him. We can keep trusting in him and trusting that he will save us from eternal damnation no matter what. There are some people in the Bible that we read of that did not give up on God. They did not give over to men and their fears. We read of this in Hebrews 11.37. They were burned to the stake, they were thrown to lions, they were stoned, they were sawn in two, and they were slain with the sword. They were not afraid of men so much so that they were willing to die for their faith, and they did not want to give up on God. If we do give up on God, we will die a second time, and that is much worse than anything that can happen on this earth. If you will turn to Revelations 20.10, Revelations 20.10, we will read of this. And it reads, The devil who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Now we read of not just people being tormented for a little bit of time or just being able to suck it up and get over with it, but this is forever and ever and for all of eternity. And that is much worse because not only is it going to be a agony far worse than anything on this earth, but it's also for all of eternity and we will be suffering for all of eternity. And that is certainly something that you never want to go through. But it's, being faithful to God isn't just because of being scared of him. It's not just being frightened that he will kill you a second time if you do not be faithful to him. He also promises you to go to heaven. You will be in eternal paradise with him. You will uh, see his beauty and how great heaven is. And you will see that he is a loving God and that he is also faithful to us and that he will keep his promise and he will not just be a cruel, mean God that some pagan gods are. We are also supposed to be faithful to God as being godlike. We are supposed to be imitators of Christ. We are supposed to be as close to Jesus as we possibly can. We are supposed to study his word. We are supposed to teach his word. We are supposed to go out and be the kind of Christian people that we are taught to be like in the Bible. So the summary of my sermon this morning is we need to be faithful to God. We need to make sure that we stay faithful to him in the end. And we never want to give over to men and their threats or their promises that they will kill us. And that is what I have this morning.